Leaders didn't get much sleep on Thursday night. Bitter infighting over migration derailed an otherwise straightforward summit. Hungary and Poland don't like the new rules, which allow the relocation of asylum seekers and payments into a common fund for each one they refuse to take in. Poland says its hosting of a million Ukrainians should exempt it, and priority should go to building stronger borders. But the rules have already been approved, with little prospect of a rewrite. In the end, leaders agreed to not agree. EU Council President Charles Michel issued his own statement instead. Poland and Hungary considered that due to the migration pact, not only the content of the migration pact, but also the decision-making process, the qualified majority, these two countries considered that they were not able to validate the conclusions. Leaders also eventually discussed relations with China. The EU has a $250 billion trade relationship with Beijing, but it is being reassessed. Most leaders want to repatriate manufacturing in key areas, mainly high-tech, to avoid the kind of dependency many develop for Russian oil and gas. They're calling it de-risking. The final statement recognized growing tensions and rivalries, but called for constructive and stable relations. All in all, this means continued engagement with China, but following a European approach that is based on our interests and on our values. There is little appetite here for the kind of strategic reset the Biden administration wants. Yet again, migration has proved a divisive issue. For years, the EU has tried to reform and streamline its rules. Countries like Greece and Italy have finally pushed the idea of mandatory relocation, sharing the burden. But Poland and Hungary remain implacably opposed. Simon McGregor Wood, TRT World, Brussels.